to read Sea Turtles. Sea Turtles is an expository text. How many were you going? Lucky. Do you know how to get there? Yes. Yes, because it's very close to us, right? In which hospital? I don't remember. I hate it. Okay. I know it. All right, there's two. There's Memorial and Woodland Heights. Woodland Heights. And you know specifically how to get right to with us, not, not just like there. Yep. Okay. Tell me how you would get there. Uh, okay. I when can you get drive. when you get to the loop, do you go left or right on the loop? Uh, right. Okay. And you and it would go right there. You're right. That's how you would get there. Okay. So you're going to do a rapid word recognition chart. Three words. Listen to me read them first. No, large, live, pull, cover, mic. Okay, read it with me. No, large, live, pull, cover, mic. All right. Are you ready? No, large, In the second paragraph, on the, in the second sentence, okay. so in the third paragraph. Now, one of your words, I'm going to mock. Third paragraph also. Okay, that is all of those.
this. We're going to find some more of those. I'm going to write some words on the board that you're going to find also. Look up here so you can read these words. Plan. You should have sand five times. Okay. All right, let's read the yellow ones and we'll see if you have them all. What do you want to go with?
buat kita. is going to be a noun, because we're talking about a place. Okay, what is the definition of direction? Uh, you know what that means? If you get someone direction. Okay, if you give someone direction, but what are you giving them? Maybe needs to know how to get to a place, and you tell them the way to go. Like I asked you how to get to the hospital, and you say go to the loop, turn right. That's directions on how to get somewhere. So what? What you're telling somebody how to get somewhere? Or it could also be um, something like if you have um, directions on a paper you're doing, you the directions tell you how to do it. Or maybe a company has someone that leads that. They give directions to the employees on how to do things. So guide by, they can guide by. Is it guidance of someone? Because you may be telling someone how to do something or where to get somewhere. Or something, because it could be maybe maybe a company or how to run something or to someone or something Run to the school because make sure we're following along and doing what we should.
to say cobblestone. That would be okay. What about um? Yeah. Work and of course, teachers don't say command, but you have to follow the directions, right? So that is a that's like a commandment, something you need to do. And one more. Put one more here. Then we have run, lead, guide, path. How about control? Did that work? Directions kind of control where you're going or how to do something. All right. Now we're going to do another word. A verb or something? Oh, verb. Yeah. It said noun, and then you yes. can see it, and then when you erase it, it says verb. I'll, I'll clean it off for this later, but I don't want you to. I'm going to make it wet because we can't see the next one. Okay, our next word is. What does it tame me? Okay, that's contained. This is a animal. No, that's contained. This is a tame. Okay, uh, a tame. We could use that like he ran a good race. Well, listen, he ran a good race and obtained a medal. So what did he get? Oh, he gained something. Okay. He like. He achieved something, yeah. right? Okay. All right, so let's put succeed. Succeed in achieving. What are some other words that we could use instead of attain? Play for attain. Achieve. Okay, we could say achieve. Accomplish. Accomplish. Okay, what it, I talked about the athlete at the beginning, he ran the race, he attained the medal, so he won. Okay, he won. Win something. Actually, 
Well, that's what we would do to them, but that wouldn't mean the same as a pain way. Um, get, you could obtain that means you go, you get something, you achieve something, you get it. What about is, watch? What about um, if you set goals for yourself? In the minutes. Uh, you could. If that's your goal, yes, you did. And when you accomplish all of those goals, you have a pound back. You get a pound back. <laughs> you reach. Reach. <laughs> Attain could be reach. You reach what you set out to accomplish. issues in the library. The library is closed at this time until further notice. Thank you. Okay, it says 12 eggs in one minute. But I thought they could have Okay, well hold on. For three minutes. No, 12 eggs per minute and in one minute. But my question was how many eggs do they lay at one time? Uh, so, what does your story say? Well, at, in a minute. But what does it say at one time? Around uh, 150 at one time. So you were right. 12 in a minute, but 150 at a time. Okay. Read some more. Count. Oh. She laid around these eggs in just a few minutes. Watch and fill us with these one seed for of the world. Okay. There's another question. Where do they live? Where do they live?
later and if you want to join this channel they usually return to the place where they film themselves. themselves. Oh, themselves. When they were born. We're born. We're born. How how they found their way back. How they find. How they find their way back. There is a mystery. When they reach shore, the big heavy trail crawls slowly up to the high water mark. Mark using your flippers. Um, using your flippers. They put themselves. Oh. They pull themselves on the wind along the oh yeah, along the sand. Okay, that was the question. How do they move themselves in the sand? Using your flippers. Using your flippers. Okay. Um, they must. They must. They must surely struggle. Struggle like mountain climbers to accomplish their goal, attain their goal. Um, when they're when they finally when they finally reach dry land, they rest before beginning the this
your way back. Remember that you're going to have to write this on paper. You're going to have to put it in sentence form. But you can write it any way you want to on this. All right. What's another thing that we learned? That's okay. You can, well, I'll, we'll fix the sentence when you do the paper. Okay. What else we learned? We learned where they lay their eggs.
you're digging the holes and covering them back up. They dig the holes. Okay, but that's going to be the detail. So let's put how the eggs are laid. We learned how long we, how long it takes them to hatch. How long before the eggs hatch. So we know the place where they're laying, how they're laying, how long before they hatch. Then, okay, you were talking about the how they have to rest and things. Mm -hmm. So that would be when the leg, eggs are laid because they don't crawl up and lay them immediately, do they? So we can do that one. When. Where they were born. That's important that we know that they go back to the very place that they were born. Where they were born. The O R M. Alright. How the eggs are laid? Okay, 
the next one is when the eggs are laid. And that's where you were talking about what they have to do and they have to rest and all that. So remember that one? So when are they laid? What happens first? Do they? Laura has to find the perfect spot. Oh, what does she look for? Now they're exhausted. What do they do? Sleep. They rest before they lay eggs. Before they even start eating the whole. And rest. You can put and rest or rest, whatever. This remind yourself that they do that. Okay, now again, a hundred words or a little less. You are going to write a paragraph using all of that information.
now, on that one, you can rot it, you can start it like this, the place where the seed, the eggs are laid, but you don't want to end that period there. You don't want to end that sentence. The place where the eggs are laid.